हेलो स्ट्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ लक्ष्मी जैन एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस यू एस टी एस सी टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन केमिस्ट्री पेपर लेट्स स्टार्ट द पेपर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन द नेम ऑफ फिफ्थ स्टेट ऑफ मैटर इज ओके बेसिकली मैटर हैव फाइव स्टेट्स सॉलिड लिक्विड गैस प्लाज्मा एंड बी सी ओके फर्स्ट स्टेट इज सॉलिड सेकेंड स्टेट इज लिक्विड थर्ड गैस फोर्थ स्टेट इज प्लाज्मा एंड फिफ्थ स्टेट इज बी ई सी ओके विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड बोस आइंस्टाइन कंडेंसेट ओके सो फिफ्थ स्टेट ऑफ मैटर इज बी ई सी बोस आइंस्टाइन कंडेंसेट सो करेक्ट आंसर should be option number 4 okay question number 2 mono atomic molecule among the following is okay in question number 2 mono atomic molecule among the following is okay option 1 oxygen ऑक्सीजन इज प्रेजेंट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ओ टू मॉलिक्यूल ओके इट इज डायटोमिक नाइट्रोजन इज प्रेजेंट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एन टू मॉलिक्यूल दिस इज ऑल्सो डायटोमिक हाइड्रोजन गैस इज प्रेजेंट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एस टू मॉलिक्यूल दिस इज डायटोमिक बट आर्गन इट इज अ नॉबल गैस इट एग्जिस्ट इंडिपेंडेंटली it is the most stable element in the periodic table okay noble gases are the most stable elements so they exist in the form of mono atomic molecule so our correct answer is option number 3 argon okay physical change among the following is okay generally in the physical change no new substance is formed okay only physical properties like physical state shape size color texture etc is changed okay no new substance is formed but in a chemical change always new substance is formed and chemical properties are changed so see the options option number first here carbon react with oxygen gas and form carbon dioxide in this reaction new substance is formed so it is a example of a chemical change option second on heating calcium carbonate it will produce calcium oxide and carbon dioxide gas in this reaction new substances are formed so it is also the example of a chemical change in option number 3 hydrogen reacts with iodine and form hydrogen iodide okay here also new product is formed so it is the example of chemical change but in option number 4 h2o solid changes into h2o liquid only physical state only physical state is changed solid to liquid it this is the physical property if physical properties are changed then it is called physical change so correct option is option number 4 question number 4 the process of formation of solid crystal from a saturated solution is called okay formation of solid crystal from its saturated solution is called crystallization crystallization is a separation technique it is used to separate pure crystal from its impure solution or saturated solution so correct answer should be option number 3 crystallization question number 5 maximum number of electrons present in m shell of an atom is okay maximum number of electrons present in a shell can be calculated by 2n square formula 2n square 
here n indicates the number of shell these are shells n is equal to 1 for k shell n is equal to 2 for l shell n is equal to 3 for m and n is equal to 4 for n shell so with the help of 2 n square 2 into the value of n is 3 for m shell so maximum number of electrons present in m shell is 18 which can be calculated by 2n square formula so correct option is option number second 18 question number 6 which of the following pairs is not an example of isotopes okay generally isotopes are the different forms of an element which have same atomic number but different mass numbers okay in option 1 argon and calcium are given they have different atomic number but same mass number they are isobars okay if atomic numbers are different but mass numbers are same they are called isobars they are isobars second option they have same atomic number chlorine okay both atoms have same atomic number but different mass number so they are isotopes option third carbon they have same atomic number but different mass number so these are the example of isotopes option number 4 oxygen atoms they have also same atomic number but different mass numbers so these are the examples of isotopes so in question which of the following pairs is not an example okay not an exa an example so correct answer is option number 1 these are the isobars they are not isotopes so correct answer is option number 1 question number 7 number of molecules present in 0.36 g of water is okay number of molecules can be calculated by using this formula number of molecules is equal to moles into avogadro number okay so first we have to find out number of moles for 0.36 g water okay 0.36 g given mass and the molar mass of water is 18 g and na the value of na is 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 okay mol 0.02 moles and when multiply it with avogadro number we will get 12.04 into 10 to power 21 molecules okay so correct answer is option number 2 12.044 into 10 power 21 number of molecules are present in 0.36 g water so answer should be option number 2 question number 8 the numbers of protons and neutrons in uranium are respectively basically atomic number is equal to the number of protons in an element atomic number 
is equal to number of protons and number of electrons in neutral atom. So, number of protons in uranium are number of protons in uranium are 92 okay and number of neutrons can be calculated as generally mass number is the sum of number of protons in number of neutrons number of neutrons can be calculated number of neutrons can be calculated on subtract number of protons from mass number okay mass number is 235 and number of protons is 92 so, number of neutrons are 143. Number of protons is 92 and number of neutrons are 143. So, correct answer is option number 2. The element exhibiting variable valency is? Okay, first option is magnesium. The electronic configuration of magnesium is 2, 8, 2. It lose two electrons and show valency plus two. Potassium, electronic configuration of potassium is two eight eight one. It lose one electron and shows valency plus one. Calcium, option third. It has electronic configuration two eight eight two. Its valency is plus two. Copper, copper generally shows two valences, copper plus one and copper plus two. Plus one valency is known as cuprous and plus two valency is known as cupric. This is called cuprous or copper first and Cupric is called copper second. So, correct answer should be option number 4. Question number 10. The molecular formula of aluminum sulfate among the following is? To form molecular formula or chemical formula, we have to use following steps. First, we have to write the symbol of elements. The symbol of aluminum is Al and the symbol of sulphate is SO4. Okay, then write their valencies below them. The valency of aluminum is plus 3 and the valency of sulphate is minus 2. Third step, cross the valencies with the help of criss-cross method. So, we will get Al2SO4 whole thrice. This is the chemical formula of aluminium sulphate. So, correct answer is option number third. Question number 11. Molecule having triple bond among the following is. Okay. In option 1, Cl2. Generally, chlorine has electronic configuration 287. So, to complete it, uh, its octet, it share one electron and form Cl2 molecule. So, it contains only one 
और सिंगल कोवेलेंट बॉन्ड ओ टू इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिगेशन ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इज टू सिक्स टू कंप्लीट इट्स ऑक्टेट इट शेयर टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड फॉर्म ओ टू मॉलिक्यूल ओके नाइट्रोजन इट हैज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फ्रिगेशन टू फाइव इट रिक्वायर्ड थ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स टू कंप्लीट इट्स ऑक्टेट सो इट विल फॉर्म एन टू मॉलिक्यूल बाय शेयरिंग थ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विथ बाय इक्वल शेयरिंग ऑफ थ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स बिटवीन टू नाइट्रोजन आइटम्स इट विल फॉर्म एन ट्रिपल बॉन्ड एन सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर थर्ड ऑप्शन नंबर फोर ओ थ्री ओजोन इट विल फॉर्म डबल बॉन्ड विथ अदर ऑक्सीजन आइटम एंड वन कॉर्डिनेट बॉन्ड विथ दिस ऑक्सीजन आइटम दिस इज द ओजोन सो दिस इज ऑल्सो नॉट द करेक्ट आंसर ओके सो करेक्ट आंसर ऑफ क्वेश्चन इलेवन इज ऑप्शन नंबर थर्ड क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व द केमिकल फॉर्मूला ऑफ ब्लीचिंग पाउडर इज द केमिकल फॉर्मूला ऑफ ब्लीचिंग पाउडर इज सी ए ओ सी एल टू ओके दिस इज द केमिकल फॉर्मूला ऑफ ब्लीचिंग पाउडर सो करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन नंबर टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन लुइस एसिड अमंग द फॉलोइंग इज ओके लुइस एसिड अमंग द फॉलोइंग इज जनरली अकॉर्डिंग टू लुइस लॉन पेयर डोनर स्पीशीज आर कोल्ड लुइस पेस ओके लॉन पेयर डोनर ओके लॉन पेयर डोनर लॉन पेयर डोनर स्पीशीज आर कॉल्ड लुइस बेस एंड लॉन पेयर एक्सेप्टर लॉन पेयर एक्सेप्टर स्पीशीज आर कॉल्ड लुइस एसिड इन ऑप्शन नंबर वन एच टू ओ ऑक्सीजन contains two lone pair so it is lone pair donor species lone pair donor molecule so it is a lewis base option second ammonia in ammonia nitrogen atom also contains one lone pair so it is lone pair donor so it is lewis base ऑप्शन नंबर थर्ड ओ एच माइनस नेगेटिवली चार्ज स्पीशीज आर ऑल्सो लुइस पेस बट इन ऑप्शन नंबर फोर ए एल सी एल थ्री एल्यूमिनियम इज द सेंट्रल आइटम एंड दिस कंटेन Six electrons, okay, but for stability, eight electrons are required. But it has only six electrons, so it is a electron deficient species. Electron deficient. So it is electron deficient. So it can lone pair to complete its octet. okay so lone pair acceptor species are called lewis acid so correct option is option number 4 this is lewis acid okay so lone pair acceptor species are called lewis acid so correct answer is option number 4 next question question number 4 the king of acids among the following is generally H2SO4 sulfuric acid is known as king of acid so correct answer is option number 3 H2SO4 okay 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ होमोजीनियस कैटेलाइसिस अमंग द फॉलोइंग इज ओके जनरली द केमिकल रिएक्शन इन विच रिएक्टेंट्स प्रोडक्ट्स एंड द कैटलिस्ट ऑल आर इन सेम फिजिकल स्टेट दिस रिएक्शन आर कॉल्ड होमोजीनियस कैटेलाइसिस रिएक्शन ओके रिएक्टेंट्स प्रोडक्ट्स एंड कैटलिस्ट ऑल आर इन सेम फिजिकल स्टेट दे आर कॉल्ड होमोजीनियस कैटेलाइसिस बट इफ दे आर डिफरेंट फिजिकल स्टेट दैन इट इज कॉल्ड हाइड्रोजीनियस कैटेलाइसिस सी ऑप्शन नंबर वन नाइट्रोजन is present in gaseous state okay hydrogen is also gas ammonia is also gas but it is a haber process and in this process iron is used as a catalyst but it is solid in state okay so it is a example of heterogeneous catalysis option number second vegetable oil plus hydrogen okay and uh, it will form vegetable ghee this reaction will occur in the presence of nickel catalyst okay nickel catalyst which is solid state and vegetable oil is present in liquid hydrogen in gas so physical state of reactants and uh, catalyst are different and product also so this is also the example of heterogeneous catalysis option number 3 okay sulfur dioxide gas oxygen gas react together and form sulfur trioxide gas okay this reaction will occur in the presence of nitric oxide gas okay will occur in the presence of nitric oxide gas so here reactants are present in gaseous state product is also in gaseous state catalyst is also nitric oxide in gaseous state all are in same physical state so this is the example of homogeneous catalysis option number 4 ethene on hydrogenation form ethane this reaction will occur in the presence of nickel catalyst okay this is solid catalyst is solid so this reaction is also example of heterogeneous catalysis so correct answer is option number 3 of homogeneous catalysis okay question number 16 the name of product x in the following reaction is okay in this reaction chloroform reacts with oxygen gas and it will form cocl2 forcing gas and hcl okay so the x is for c so correct answer is option number 3 for c question number 17 the ph of the solution obtained by taking equal mole of reactants in the following reaction will be okay in this reaction hcl hydrochloric acid is a strong acid and naoh sodium hydroxide is the example of a strong base when strong acid reacts with strong base they will form neutral salt nacl and water if salt is neutral then ph will be 7 okay so the ph of nacl is 7 so correct answer is option number 1 
क्वेश्चन नंबर 18 ट्रांस यूरेनिक एलिमेंट अमंग द फॉलोइंग इज ओके जनरली द एलिमेंट्स व्हिच हैव एटॉमिक नंबर ग्रेटर देन 92 आर कॉल्ड ट्रांस यूरेनिक एलिमेंट्स इन ऑप्शन नंबर 1 एक्टिनियम इट हैज एटॉमिक नंबर 89 ऑप्शन नंबर टू पी बी प्लम्बम इट हैज एटॉमिक नंबर एट्टी टू ऑप्शन नंबर थर्ड नैपचूनियम इट्स एटॉमिक नंबर इज नाइंटी थ्री एंड ऑप्शन नंबर फोर लैंथेनम इट्स एटॉमिक नंबर इज फिफ्टी सेवन ओके सो इन ऑप्शन नंबर थर्ड एटॉमिक नंबर इज ग्रेटर देन नाइंटी टू सो नेपचूनियम इज अ एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ट्रांस यूरिनिक एलिमेंट सो करेक्ट आंसर शुड बी ऑप्शन नंबर थर्ड क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटीन एलिमेंट हैविंग लार्जेस्ट एटोमिक रेडियस अमंग द फॉलोइंग इज ओके इन अ पीरियोडिक टेबल ऑन मूविंग इन अ ग्रुप टॉप टू बॉटम साइज ऑफ एटम इंक्रीजेस बिकॉज नंबर ऑफ शेल्स इंक्रीजेस these all options are related to one group group number 1 lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium okay so these are group 1 elements and uh, on going top to bottom size of atom size of atom increases because number of shells increases so the maximum atomic radius among all of them is cesium okay so correct option is option number 4 question number 20 the groups related to d block elements is the modern periodic table okay group 3 to 12 in modern periodic table group 3 to 12 indicates the d block elements okay and uh, group number 13 to 18 indicates p block because the last electron enter into p subshell group 1 and 2 indicates s block and group number 13 to 17 also indicates p block so correct answer is option number first group 3 to 12 this is the correct answer question number 21 non crystalline allotrope of carbon is non crystalline means which do not have regular structure okay option number 1 diamond it has regular structure graphite it also have regular structure fullerene this is crystalline allotrope but option number 4 gas carbon this is amorphous and non crystalline form of carbon so correct answer is option number 4 gas carbon is formed by destructive distillation of coal okay and it is the amorphous form it do not have regular structure okay so correct answer is option number 4 question number 22 iupac name of the new pantene is okay iupac name of the new pantene is the structure of neopentane is like that this is the structure of neopentane okay this is the structure of neopentane for iupac nomenclature first we have to select longest principal carbon chain we select this chain as a principal chain then numbering give number 
टू थ्री फर्स्ट राइट द नेम ऑफ सब्सिटेंट विद द विद इट्स इट नंबर सो आई यू पी सी नेम ऑफ नियो पैंटेन इज टू टू बिकॉज दीज आर दब्सिटेंट्स टू टू डाई मिथाइल ओके देर आर थ्री कार्बन इन प्रिंसिपल चेन सो प्रॉप and they contain only carbon carbon single bond this is the example of alkene so suffix is n so the iupac name of the compound is 2 2dimethyl propane okay so our correct answer is option number 2 question number 23 natural polymers among the following is okay natural polymers among the following is ऑप्शन नंबर फर्स्ट नायरोन सिक्स सिक्स इट इज अ आर्टिफिशियल और सिंथेटिक पॉलीमर ऑप्शन सेकंड टेरिलीन इट इज आर्टिफिशियल ऑप्शन नंबर थर्ड पॉलीथीन दिस इज आल्सो आर्टिफिशियल बट ऑप्शन नंबर फोर स्टार्च स्टार्च इज द एग्जांपल ऑफ नेचुरल पॉलीमर सो करेक्ट आंसर शुड बी ऑप्शन नंबर फोर so correct answer should be option number 4 question number 24 the ratio of numbers of hydrogen atoms in benzene and cyclohexane is the molecular formula of benzene is c6h6 and the molecular formula of cyclohexane is c6 h12 okay in benzene six hydrogen atoms are present and in cyclohexane 12 hydrogen atoms are present so ratio of number of hydrogen atoms will be one ratio 2 so correct answer is option number second one ratio 2 Next question, question number twenty-five. The most abundant element found on Earth is silicon. No, gold. No, iron. No, oxygen. Yes, oxygen is the element which is present in most abundant in the Earth. Okay, so correct option is option number four. Oxygen. oxygen is the element which uh, most abundant element found on earth okay so thank you students